Well, 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 what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Mac OS Monterey. Let's get started. All right, so we're waiting for Mac OS Monterey to boot up. This does boot up a little bit slower than normal, but there is the login screen. I'll log in and then we'll go from there. And let's hit enter to open Mac OS Monterey. Used to be when I was running the betas, it would get rid of this progress bar, Application. but no Fine. longer Desktop. anymore. Desktop. So we got Mac OS Monterey running right here um, for the most part. I have no other problems really. Battery life, I'm going to fast forward or reverse time from currently right now what, what it is to uh, earlier yesterday to show you all the battery life because I keep my Mac plugged in over the weekends. Uh, so I just don't add more charge cycles to the battery but i'm also sitting at this desk most all the weekend so there's no sense in taking the mac off the charger so here's that video clip and we'll fast forward to now back to me see y'all on the flip side hey everyone this is post editing austin here uh this is the mac charging uh around 24 percent it is currently 12 40 um 12.43 p.m. and I'm plugged it at 6.13 on Friday in the morning and this is the battery life so far without low power mode enabled. So back to edited Austin. I did turn off voiceover and whatever background tasks to make the most accurate results here. Um, so yeah, we're waiting on these Geekbench scores to finish on this Mac and I still love the fact that this M1, oh, there it is. That this M1 is uh, fanless and that it barely heats up. It's still like as cold as room temperature. So here we go. Voice over on Geekbench 5. All right. Geekbench store, web content, Geekbench store, web content. So we're going to go into the web content. 1752. 17, 1752 for single core score. Single core score. 7,744. 7,744. This Mac here on multi-core performance is as high as the M1 Pro MacBook Pro processor and multi-core performance. I, I, I'm kind of surprised. Almost. I don't, it's not directly. It's by about eh, 20 points. Like at this time of the day. If we go into... Launchpad. Send anywhere. Ambient tool. Windy. Speed. Radar. Stream. Coconut. Apple configurator. Coconut battery. Coconut battery. Coconut battery. Co go all the way down to here. 82 point charging with. 8 battery temperature. 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit. We're at 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit and for Celsius. About 28.1 degrees Celsius. Which is about 20, it's 28.1 degrees Celsius and this is battery temperature. Charging 3.63 watts. So it is charging this Mac. Um, so yeah, that's Keep that. Untitled. Results window. 7,744. 7,744. So this was Geekbench 5. I'm going to kill it. Finder, desktop. But for the most part, I don't know why it's doing that noise. But um, for the most part, Mac OS Monterey, besides, you know, uh, there was a few hangups where it froze when I was trying to use Apple. Um, the... Let me try it. Launchpad. Send anywhere. Ambient. Wind. Radar. Stream. Lots. OBS. Coke. Apple Configure. Cloudflare. Word. When I was using Apple Configurator to... Um, Update my iPod Touch was causing some issues. Spaces bar, group, spaces, finder, desktop, desktop, and group. it kept freezing and stuff like that. And then my mics today, Sunday, which is current day as I'm recording this this evening, they did quit. So I was able to shut down the Mac and then go into Mac OS Big Sur Apple, for a while and then come back into Monterey. And Apple it menu, fixed it. System prep, app store, recent, force quick, sleep, restart, ellipse, shut down, ellipsis. Authentication. So I'm going to shut this you down. You are shut down. Deep. And we'll go into Mac OS Big Sur. You saw how fast that shut down. We'll go into Mac OS Big Sur by, because I have two um, volumes of Mac OS. So we hold down Touch ID like this. And we'll go into Mac OS Big Sur. I'll let everything index and stuff like that. Give it a few, give it a little bit. And then um, 
We'll see what Geekbench scores you're getting from 11.6.1 with nothing open, including voiceover off, um, to macOS uh, and compared to macOS Monterey. So here we go. You can see my disc. I'm going to fire up voiceover so it's the best for me and show my visually impaired audience. Voiceover on boot picker and select it. Select disc name untitled. Select disc name and select disc name. Continue button. When to select Macintosh HD, which is my main drive, main volume, to boot into Mac OS. Takes a while. It's really weird. It, since I got this logic board fixed, it's been a little bit on the hanging side. But I think it's because I'm not doing partitions. I'm actually doing volumes. And if you're wondering why this is a little bit lopsided, the keyboard and everything, is because... This desk, for some weird reason, cannot record correctly. But I'm going to enter, you know, log in and stuff like that and get everything set up. And then I'll meet y'all back with uh, opening up Geekbench and running that test. All right. So now we're Mac back on Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.1. If it may look a little lopsided, like I said, I'm trying to get the tripod as Device best as Explorer. possible. Explorer, Mac OS, Mac processor. Mac OS 11.6.1 build 20 G224. As you can see, there's the Mac OS. Processor. Apple M1 at 3.20 GHz. Map 8.0 CPU. CPU benchmark. CPU market. Apple Silicon. Run CPU. Keep benchmarks fast when it is the only application. Run CPU benchmark button. All right. We're so going to run it like this. I'm going to kill voiceover. voiceover I'm going to kill voiceover for the best ultimate uh, performance. All right. So our Geekbench scores have populated. I'm going to boot voiceover, voiceover back on. All right, so we went from 17, 1,752 to 1,731 with single core performance on Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.1. Single core score, 7,552. Oh, wow. What a, what a difference. 7,500. Single, 7,552. 7,552, it's multi-core performance score of Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.1, while Monterey had uh, a multi-core score of 7,744. So you're definitely getting a bigger, you're definitely getting a bigger uh, performance boost with Monterey when it comes down to multi-core performance. Single core, there's a slight uh, change. It's a little bit better. It's by slight. It's not like really severe uh, boost speed. But if you really want to make the best Mac OS experience, then I would recommend uh, installing a volume of Mac OS Monterey. But if you're a tech nerd or a tech geek and you just want to run Mac OS Monterey on your main device... It, it's got a yellow light for me. I'm going to start signaling updates as you, red lights, yellow lights, or green lights just to color code them and, you know, make it easier for y'all. But it's got the yellow light for me besides it would have the green light if if I didn't have a freeze um, yesterday and my microphone only worked for Siri today. So if it didn't have them issues, it would have been a green light. So hope you all enjoyed this little tech video of Mac OS Monterey. A week later slash what's new um sorry i didn't get to do the what's new completely um you can find everything available of uh, mac os and devices that are supported i'll go a rough down mac pro uh late 2013 or later macbook air early 2015 or later macbook 12 inch uh 2016 or later macbook uh pro 2015 or later and iMac 2015 or later and iMac Pro 2017 and later. Hope you enjoyed and if you got any of the new M1 Pro or M1 Max processor MacBooks, then definitely they're going to have a nice run on Mac OS Monterey. But if you have an older Mac of like, <laughs> not really that old, 2020 M1 MacBook or Mac Mini or iMac or MacBook Pro, you're definitely going to see a performance boost with Monterey. Peace.